Hi everyone, welcome back to Tower of Bias 3! Last time we did uh, three levels, uh, number 9, 8, and 7. Now we're going to do number 6, Brunstar Vegetation by Valtteri. Valtteri, Valtteri, Valtteri. What level did they make the last time? Or in Tower of Bias 1 specifically. Also, that is Brunstar, yes! None of the enemies can be jumped on or slid into safely except for the Rippers, the Beetles. A spin jump may work, however. Uh, these are rippers. No, these are not rippers. Never mind. <laughs> no. I don't actually know my Metroid enemies' names. At least these. So I guess you can jump on these, the flying ones. Because they're not meant to really hurt you in the first place. So this is really Brinstar, but it's not complete unless you're playing as Samus. That, that was a weird thing about SMBX, though. That you could not um, play as uh, Samus. It, it really felt like the, the, the person wanted to give us the opportunity to do that, you know? Well, <laughs> there's something right here, but I can't pick it up. Or, no, I can't. Never mind. <laughs> That's kind of cute. It's an egg that you have to break. That, that is something you can do in SMBX. You can create an egg and then put anything you want in it. So with the raccoon tail, I can now defeat some enemies that try to attack me. Sort of, kind of. Like this. Hmm, anything here? Probably not. I gotta say, the level is... It's just not... It's, as I said, it's not complete unless you're playing as Samus. Super Metroid Samus, specifically. It would be actually weird if you were playing as Metroid Fusion Samus. So would I specifically need a Tanuki suit for... Ah, oh, damn it. Well, I guess it doesn't matter now. That's, uh... Ice blocks? Ice blocks down here, too. Can go over here. Um, uh, yeah, the level design is getting a little cluttered. Or rather, the area in general is getting cluttered. I'm just gonna keep cutting down, like seriously. Can't do anything here. Hmm. Because it's a uh, Metroidvania-ish. We're gonna have to search around. Actually, it's just straight up Metroid. Don't need to call it Metroidvania. I, I realized it was a bomb, and then I realized it was about to explode, but it was too late. <laughs> Should have just thrown it in front of me. Anyway, it's an interesting level, that's to be sure. Just gotta get the hang of it. Oh my god. Well, this is actually a good time to check to see if the power-up regenerates. It does not! Hooray! Should've gotten rid of that elite enemy uh, earlier. Okay, so that is uh, friendly. Slide into these blocks with the Tanuki statue to open the hatch. Okay, so it's not raccoon uh, specific. It's for secondary. I thought they, they, those enemies were friendlies. But they're actually really annoying. They follow you quite aggressively, is the thing. What are they? I have no idea. In any case, uh, that means uh, we don't actually have to do anything there. We just have to keep heading down. Yeah, these enemies. What are they supposed to be? I have no idea. Anyway, just to be sure, I'm actually going to try to um, do it uh, with this. Yeah. Need to be uh, Tanuki. And you can't defeat these enemies, apparently. I have no idea. <gasps> Almost got hit there. A fiery blast might melt. A uh, fire flower, whatever. There's a lot of enemies, it's a thing. And you don't want to get hit because getting hit means you lose your power up. That's a lotus plant. 
Guess I'm going over here now. <laughs> Twomps, right? Twomps that go straight into the ground, which makes sense. That's how they worked. In Metroid, that is. Not the Twomps in Mario. I don't like all the lotus plants. Oof. And I guess, yeah, this one respawns considering you're gonna need it. The fire flower, yum. Can I get two? Can defeat these enemies with the fire flower, that's very nice. Kind of wish I could destroy these things though. I mean, they're plants, right? That must mean they're weak to fire attacks. Because, you know, grass type Pokemon. Well, I guess I can go up here. And yeah, cool. I can get another raccoon tail. Come on. There. So does it respawn? No, nope, it's a one-time use. Probably should not have collected it then. Yeah, yeah. So what am I gonna have to do here? Yeah, I can do that. Mm hmm. That's energy, but it could mean to be something else. Maybe. Uh, huh. Well, I collected it. I get. It must have been a mushroom. Yeah, I, 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 it must have been a mushroom. That's what it was. Cannot slide into these enemies. Don't forget. Gotta bring dust back all the way over here. Not good enough. There we go. And of course there's elite enemies here. What else could there be? Ugh, worthless. There we go. Yeah, see, these are spike tops, so that's why I can't just defeat them with the fire flower. Um, raccoon tail? Tanuki suit. Ooh, I, I kind of want two of them. Anyway, yeah, you can do this. And you can go over here for a secret. And what up? That's cool, though. I, I honestly want two. If I need a fire flower again, well, I'll get it some other time. So it's interesting to see how much you can do uh, before even going through the bomb segment. Oh, you just go through those. Okay. That's right, you can't jump on them. Ugh. Gonna wait for the caterpillar to get away and then do this. Yep. Hmm. Need the bombs to do that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you can transform in midair. That's kind of broken, to be honest. Purple Yoshi can do ground pounds. Jump and press down when you're riding the purple Yoshi. Another super broken power-up! Thank you so much. And it's actually just Yoshi. I thought it was uh, gonna be a... Uh, uh, retextured. Like, re... I, th I thought it would be like this ostrich, you know? <laughs> this alien ostrich. Anyway, yeah. That's how you do a ground pound. Mm-hmm. Choose your destiny. Ah, would have been a generic question if I'd gone the other side. So now that I have Yoshi, I can basically ignore the part about using bombs to go down the shaft, all the way at the bottom. Or maybe it's for something else. What a good case, uh, things are a lot easier for me now. Hello. Watch out for the great spore spawn lies in the room above. Use Samus' arm cannon to defeat him and get the key. Uh huh. And I can't bring Yoshi. It's mother brain. <laughs> but yeah, I get what's going on here. You just need to find a safe spot and you win. Then you go up here. It's easy to get confused and not th realize you're supposed to go up there. But if you played the original Super Metroid, you know that you had to go up there. Now, where do I bring this key? That's what I wonder. No, I'm gonna go back here. If I turn, I lose. Uh, I dropped a key. Gotta remember that. Oof. When I mean I turn, I transform. <laughs> of course. When I turn into a statue. That's what I mean. Find a key to unlock this door. Guess what? Checkpoint. Would you like to save? Stand in the safe station to save your progress. Yep. But what about the passage back there? I, I, I want to see. I want to find out. Hopefully I won't lose my power in the process. Gotta bring a bomb all the way down there. Get rid of that enemy will help a lot. Mm -hmm. This is for another power. Oh, jeez, what do you have to say? You can freeze enemies with the ice beam, but bear in mind that you cannot freeze Waver. The flying creature with a purple shell, or Rio, the yellow jumping creature. Fair enough. So it's the ice flower. Which had the icon of the uh, ice beam. That's fine. It really would have been cool if you had been playing as Samus. Also, I glitched right there. Y'all saw it? I glitched a little bit. When the Brin Star dipped. Uh, what? You, c you can't freeze those? Ugh. Annoying. Well, if I do die or lose my power ups. Oh, okay, if I do die, I can always go back to get the Ice Beam at the very least. Getting the Tanuki suit would take too long, but uh, getting the Ice Beam again won't take too long again. Whatever. I did a quite a few mistakes right there. And I get to keep my purple Yoshi for some reason. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't care if it sequence breaks. It's, it's all in the name of Metroid anyway. Just need to get a nice flower. Maybe maybe two. Except I can't bring Yoshi with me. Damn! Thank God the door's still open. 
I guess going uh, back uh, over here automatically opens it for you. That's good design. It means the, p the person who made this level actually realized that some players might actually die and have to start over. You know, you can't freeze those enemies for some reason. I hate that. And you can't jump on them. I keep forgetting that. Yeah, they can stay over there. I'm not gonna ignore them. Oh, what? Those enemies just spawn whenever. Throw the bombs at Cray to defeat him. Sure thing, dude. Also, get a mushroom. Wait, is it gonna be mini Cray? MGs. Bowser. Try to dodge, didn't quite work. So it, it's actually crate from Metroid 1. Not mini crate per se, but uh, still kind of easy crate. Uh, whatever. I, I, I might as well throw this Yoshi out. Considering he's always going to be leaving every time I go through one of these passages. Oh wow, Yoshi waits for you. But I'm still abandoning him. <laughs> it's it's got to be safe there. Okay, instead of going to the right, let's go to the left. Am I going to have to fight Ridley instead? Or is it a power secret power-up? Uh, remember to dodge the enemy that comes out of the same pipe as the one you froze and jumped on. You, have, you need the ice flower to go up the shaft. Cool, so it's a bonus. The enemies stay frozen forever, in case you're wondering. So I guess the, 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 the message down there was to warn you, hey, the enemy still hits you, even if you turn them into platforms. The enemy's on the same level, anyway. So, what kind of power-up am I going to get? Not nice, slow, I hope. Ah! <laughs> oh! It's like I said, more Hammer Brothers suits. All the time! This is a very pleasant and nice surprise. I love you very much, whoever you made, whoever made this level, because this is what I want to see. Stuff that rewards the player for taking a risk. This is like getting the plasma beam in the beginning. I'm gonna decimate Crate unless I lose both of the power-ups real quick. Nope. Die, Crate, die. Or Bowser, I should say. I'm not gonna get too close. It's kind of hard to tell when he's gonna. Wow, that was quick. It's kind of hard to tell when Crate was gonna try to fire his Furio balls. Yeah. Now what? The monster you found in the previous room was actually fake Kraid. Toss the super missiles into the real Kraid's mouth to defeat him. That's Wart. <laughs> Speaking of which. So easy! <laughs> Didn't have to throw anything. That's where you get the various suit, but here it's just a star. That was a great level. I liked that it rewarded me for playing well, and there was some actual optional stuff that I could do. You know, for power-ups that could make things easy for me. That's good. And anyway, I just have time for one more level. Anyway, yeah, open the passage. I think you need a certain amount of stars to be able to do this. Otherwise, Toad doesn't believe in you for some reason. Anyway, number five. Magmatic Massacre by Sezik Sor. Not quite at 17 points just yet. Oh, also, I still have a Hammer Brothers suit. Uh, might break a couple of things. <laughs> Hopefully, 
Not too many things. Infernal Castle, Molten Mountain. If you want an easy time, then go to Molten Mountain. If you want a challenge, then go to the Infernal Castle. Well, guess what? Goodbye. <laughs> Actually, I guess uh, once, like each side has its own star. That would explain why there's two stars, you know? Uh, but if that's the case, I might as well actually do both. But, uh, I also kind of don't care, so, you know. Wait, am I going to Molten Mountains or Infernal Castle by now? I have no idea what I'm doing. Maybe I just don't know how to follow directions, and wow, that, that Hammer Bro does not care, because it's not a Hammer Bro at all. Lava at my left. Yeah, it's kind of hard to notice a couple of things while playing this. And going there. Yeah, I am liking this power up too much to leave it be. I am so sorry. Must be the molten mountains. Whatever the case, I took the left passage. Which is supposed to be the easier one. Uh, yeah, I'm not making that jump. Can I go in here though? Nope. flower but I like my suit too much and I'm probably gonna lose it if I keep it around more often um yeah I'm pretty sure I can't go through that so where am I supposed to go go down here. So just continue over here. <gasps> yeah, here I'm gonna take the fire flower because there's no need to use my hammer brother suit. Yep, I'm going down here. Probably whatever I do here will stop the lava flow. Or maybe it's where I need to go to finish the adventure. The adventure in the mountains, anyway. That's bad. That's good. <laughs> I was wondering where that uh, fire bro was going to stop or turn around, but nope. Too stupid to live. Yeah, that's a plant thing. Basically, anything in front of you dies, but yeah, you have to make sure it actually is going to hit it. Oh, speaking of getting hit, like, what was that? To be honest, this power-up makes me kind of weaker. With the Hammer Brother suit, I'm much stronger than normal. Yes, I did see that enemy right there. Get rid of anything that's in front of me. Oh, almost anything. Mm-hmm. Don't know why they give us this uh, power-up. 
It's a little too good, maybe? Like, this is not even like my hammer butter suit, which is clearly breaking the level. This, this is just... The firewall is no longer active. Thank you. That was just uh, trivializing the entire segment back there. Yeah, I noticed you at the last second. Yeah, some enemies are really hard to notice in this level. Anyway. Yep, the level keeps going. I guess this one level got so far because it's two entire segments uh, that you can do at your own leisure. You want the easy path or the hard path? Keep in mind that you can jump through the platform blocks ahead. This may help you later in the level. Oh my god, it's not over yet. So now we're a space invader. <laughs> Don't get hit by the lava. <gasps> Seriously, the lava is contagious. Oh, what, 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 what? Just, just. Oh, now you give me a checkpoint? <laughs> so the hard path must be like, do it in one go. Thanks for the one-up. So I guess it's gonna be a boss. Guess what? I'm prepared. Yep. Cheerios. Yeah, that was Mother Brain. I had to carry the bombs all the way over to her, her stupid face, but it's probably just the first phase anyway. Yep. The lava is right! Oh. Okay, I, 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 it explains the checkpoint. Because <laughs> it'd be annoying to keep dying over and over and over. Bombs? Why bombs? Bombs? Do you want them? No, thank you. No, thank you very much. Well, this isn't too bad. Because I can keep up uh, very well. But I probably should watch out where I jump. Considering there's lava that could be spawning right above my head. And I might not know that. Is this Toho music? Better not be. Yeah, see, the, the physics are a little weird right now. Oh, and I get to go through the platforms. That's right, I, I forgot about that. It's all on the platforms, anyway. Lava. Didn't know if I wanted to go left or right. So why is the lava rising? Oh, for a second there, I thought I was supposed to go in that pipe over there. Oh, thankfully, no. Ah, uh, so that was the easy path. I can't imagine how hard the the hard path is. I'll check it out once, but if it looks too annoying, I'm not doing it. Especially because it's not gonna have the benefit of a checkpoint, so you have to do it in all in one go, whatever it may be. But if it's short and just to quick little challenge. I don't mind if it's like that. It could also be accidentally easier. <laughs> I did all of this for just for a dragon point. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I think I'm already going the direction of the Infernal Castle. So whatever. Due to technical difficulties in the way the engine is set up, there is no midpoint from here to the exit, so be extra careful. Thank you very much for your information. There is actually something you could do, though. You could set up a secret shortcut so that when your person gets to a certain point, they can, you, you can put a message saying, Okay, this is how you get back to this point in the level from the first part. 
But nope! That's too smart for them, apparently. There's actually a really, really good level that did that, and I hope one day I'll be able to show it. Otherwise, uh, look up Luna Tower uh, on Raukau's channel on YouTube. Seriously, it's a great level. Although, for some people, it's probably not that great. But the way it did the checkpoints, amazing. Uh, okay. that deep, huh? Oh, damn! Well, so much for having the hammer suit uh, the entire time. But it's because I couldn't see that enemy. It's really hard to tell where the enemies are. Hmm, gotta find a switch. So those are snippets, I think. Huh. Yep, just trudging along right now. I had to press the first switch first. What a surprise. This is what I hate about switches. Damn it! I was hoping it would turn around. Uh, hmm. Okay. I'm not in the right spot still. Where could the purple switch be then? <gasps> okay, that was a bat, not a. Cheerio. <laughs> Can go over here. Okay, that works. One switch. Now I can go over here. Huh. Some switches look two alike to the others. As in too similar. Okay, I'm supposed to go... No, I haven't pressed the purple switch yet. Is it over here? No, I've already gone over here and it's... I've already established that you need to press the purple switch to activate the red switch. So it's an open ended place, but you gotta find a proper path in order to continue. What a surprise. No, yeah, there's nothing here, that's right. I kinda pressed the red switch after pressing the purple switch. Ah! Annoying. But you know, maybe I've been lucky. So I guess I have to go over here. Maybe. I was hoping that would actually hit the enemy, but of course it doesn't work that way in this engine. And anyway, yeah, here's the purple switch. Mm-hmm. And finally the red switch. Now I gotta press the purple switch again. And then I just gotta find my way back to the beginning. Except... To press the red switch again. Ugh, damn it. It's gonna be a big maze. You know what, I bet I could just sneak in this shell into... The switch back there and that would be good enough. Come on. Yes! Good.
Except the wrong thing to do, apparently. <laughs> or am I supposed to go inside that pipe? Nope. <laughs> the spike top is stuck. Okay, that's where the purple switch is. The other one. And then we're back here. Okay, gotta get to the end now. This doesn't feel like a castle at all. But it's probably just the first uh, portion of a really long portion anyway. I imagine there's two other big sections I have to go through at the very least. And if I die, I'm not gonna do them. You not probably can. With enough patience. doesn't feel like a castle yet. That's, I think that's what worries me the most. I think this is the first level. This is the tutorial level. The real first level is over here. Hmm. Having fun still. Mostly because I haven't frustrated myself with endless deaths and having to redo sections over and over and over, but it can get bad real quick, which is probably why I'm only doing this, uh, one time. Lard. Uh huh. Really? This is what you're making me do? Fair enough. Spin, jump on a thing. It's not like it's that hard. But it's a little much, isn't it? And wow, that was easier. That was easier. Come on, like, less forgiving, but it wasn't as long as the left path. And I don't know, maybe I misread the uh, comment uh, back when it was at uh, the split, you know? Maybe right was the easier path all along and I just <laughs> misread it completely. Uh, anyway, it's been 41 minutes, so I think I'm going to stop here. Next time we're going to do... Gimme Highway Dancers by Regraher. 18 points. Bye bye. Hope you've all enjoyed the studio.